Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play A Hat in Time. In the last episode, we did the, I think we did the mur murder episode. So uh, that was the longest mission in the game. So now we can get a little bit faster. So you can obviously tell what mod I'm using. I'm using the playable Timmy. And this one's somewhat noteworthy because this is actually a planned character for co-op in the game. He has a buster sword, of course, but uh, it just never ended up releasing an in in fact, I want to change that to a Monado for now. We have so many mods on right now. Holy moly. It's adding up and it's going to add up quick. It even doesn't even show off like our hat or like our skin or anything. So for now, it's just Timmy. Anyway, we're going to get right into it. And we did do the conductor's mission last time. Ooh, we actually need to unlock these. Wow. I'm not even sure if I have enough pawns for both of them at the current moment. Because uh, we have... How many do we have? I'll unlock this one. Train Rush. That's 150. We have 227. We'll hold off on that because there was actually a request I got. I'm missing a key item. Oh, that's right. Well, that's right, isn't it? Do I get it in this level? I don't think I do. I guess we'll do the big print. No, we definitely don't. Huh, that's interesting. So we actually would have to go on to the next mission, wouldn't we? Well, I think actually with the Mario hat, we might be able to get through it without that certain badge, but I wouldn't want to. Anyway, there's an achievement that I wanted to get in that mission, but I guess not for now. I believe there's also an achievement for not touching the ground in this area. So we could try that out. Oh, I forgot. This area takes a toll on the game in terms of FPS. All right, let's do it. So I think there's an achievement for like not taking damage in this mission, which you'll see is actually quite the achievement. This is also a chance to go around before we get started here and like scope out any yarn we may have missed in the sky. I'm not seeing anything though. Obviously there's a timepiece up there. That's what we're gonna be trying to get. Yeah, I'm not seeing any time, any yarns or anything that we missed. So I think we're good. And I think actually a time rift appeared in this area. I didn't check to see where the time rift appeared. Let's get started. Hello, darling. Welcome to the largest studio set you'll ever see. We're about to start recording the big parade, the movie that'll take the breath away from audiences worldwide. You'll be the star, as always. For this movie, we'll need to use our special prop. It'll pop out at the very end. But wait, darling. Your current outfit really isn't fit for the parade. Can you go over there and get drunk? Wait, is this gonna work? Uh, I don't think it will. No, nope, I look the exact same. Oh, that's a shame. Uh, I, I really do want to show that off. I'm gonna go ahead and turn that mod off, I think. And hopefully it doesn't crash the game. Nothing, nothing. So this is the parade outfit. Oh, I'm still wearing the Cerno die, that's right. Yep, this is the parade outfit. I guess since it's this mission, we'll keep it on. Look great, darling. Don't worry, this movie is really easy. Keep moving around and the band will follow you. Just don't bump into them. And keep an eye out for goodies. The audience loves a good parade and will throw treats your way if you get near them. The parade lasts a while. Nothing you can do to speed it up. We'll let you know once we've got enough footage. No lose spirit. Good luck, darling. All right, so with that, the parade begins. You can't tell me that's not the that's not the voice from Diddy Kong Racing. Anyway, yeah, he kind of just gives you free roam of the entire area, and he's telling you that they need to get footage, and they sure dang do. We're gonna try and get to these little points that it's gonna point us at for extra points. You know, it's a lot of points. Grab these tokens just to help our boy DJ Grooves out a little bit. Guess we can go for pawns while we're at it, can't we? Not sure if it lets us change hats. Oh yeah, it does, but I'd rather not since we are at a parade and it does just replace our our main hat. So it's nothing special. We can stand on this, right? Good. Yeah, there's not really much to do here. Like you said, there's nothing we can do to speed it up for now. So we kind of just have to go with the flow. I'm gonna scope out some juicy pawns 
But other than that, we're not going to be really doing much. I guess go for the token. Yeah, I'm going to take a hit. Oh, no, I'm good. I'm not sure if I do have the achievement for not taking a hit here. It's time to turn the hit up in this movie. Darling, can you turn on the pyrotechnics? All right, so we have our first objective. So this is where it actually wants you to start playing. Oh, that's right. We're kind of on a timer limit thing. Sort of. All right, let's go ahead and hit this. So we got that. Oh, almost hit us. Okay, uh, where are the other ones at? Here, we have one over to the left. We'll go for that next. So yeah, I should mention, the band's always following you. If you touch them, you take a hit. The crowd down below, you touch them, you take a hit. It's going to get a lot crazier as we keep moving on through these. You can see a lot of things that we're going to have to do eventually when it once it becomes time to do them. But uh, for now, we just kind of have to ignore them and make our way for the very few objectives that we do have. And there's pawns up here. Yummy. I wonder if one hit does it. Yeah, it does. All right, so that's going to start the pyrotechnics, which means that that main stage up there is going to occasionally just start lighting on fire. And there's, if you're touching it when it lights on fire, you're just going to take damage. In fact, it looks like it's that way for every single ceiling around the place. So you got to be careful. I think it does give you a warning if it's going to start. So you're safe as long as it's not. Um, I'm trying to look and see what the warning is. Oh, almost took a hit. I'm not sure if it's just take a hit outright. Oh, yeah, they started. Or if it's uh, fallen to the audience. It could be either one. I think we've gone around and collected most of what we need. Also, this is a song worth listening to on your own time if you're in for it. Oop, there's a token over here. Might as well grab these as we see them. Yep. Ooh, two of them. Please, please, I want your token. I guess not. Ooh, what's down here? Oh, now it's behind us. Come on now. A little bit rude. Nothing in those little areas. Yeah, I truly do believe we've collected nearly everything we have here. And that timer in the bottom right is actually telling us how much time we have left on this little section. It's about to shift into overtime. This movie needs more action. Darling, turn on the cannons for the big fireworks show. That's right, fireworks. Ugh. We have to press all these buttons. All right. Okay, we have a rocket here. Uh, where's the closest? Oh, what was that? Was a rocket shooting at me? I don't remember that anyway. Oh yeah, these are shooting them regardless of whether or not you turn them on. Oh, that's going to start. Yeah, it gives you a little bit of a numerical countdown. Uh, oh no. Got to get out of here. Okay. Still safe. No hits yet. Where's the next goal? Right here? Oh, it's really far away. Hold on, didn't we just... Yeah, we just jumped over. Oh, they're moving. Yeesh. There's two. That's going to light on fire. That's going to light on fire. That's going to light on fire. Oh, my goodness. And the last one's right over here, I believe. Yeah, you can see it gets hectic real quick here. All right. And now we have to wait another amount of time. I don't think it lasts quite as long. It looks like the timer's going quicker. It might just be my imagination. Anyway, we're just going to keep going around here looking for those toke tokes. Not seeing them. Not going to lie. Kind of low, kind of lacking on the tokes, my man. Yeah, I'm just real focused on that. Now I think about it, I really do think it's don't fall into the audience for the stage. And I might have already gotten the achievement, but I don't want to risk it. Ooh, I should mention, since we have some free time here. Oh, I say that right at the end of the free time. Oh. Okay, so that's the end. Anyway, uh, if you follow the creators of the game on Twitter, they've been talking... <gasps> really? Really? It did that. It did that. Anyway, they've been talking about how they're going to release the DLC soon, and that's kind of an important note to make. They've planned to make DLC for this game for a long time, and uh, looks like it's about to get to the point where they're going to release it. 
I don't know. But uh, hopefully we'll be able to do that if it comes soon enough. Anyway, The Big Parade, directed by DJ Groove, starring DJ Groove as the stylish mentor, Little Girl as a Parade Marshal, and Moon Penguins as the Hungry Public. Now, I don't think I actually got the achievement for avoiding the ground. If it... Because I didn't take damage from it, but I didn't avoid it, per se. Oh, 452. That's not too great, to be honest. Anyway, like, with that out of the way, we still don't have the badge for this next area, so I think we're gonna have to go ahead and skip on to the next world, leaving this for later, which is weird. I didn't know the game made you do that, but apparently it does. I mean, it doesn't make you do anything. You only need, like, 25 of the... Of the 40 things to... Of the 40... Oh. I'm, it's weird. I feel like I'm supposed to be running away from stuff again. Anyway. Let's go ahead and turn Timmy on. And hopefully it doesn't crash the game. Didn't crash the game. Look at that. Let's swap over to the brewing hat. So we can break through this. And there should... Oh. There's more. There should be a little secret back here for us. Yes, another one of these, and we don't have enough to prepare it. However, we do have a time rift here in our own ship, I guess. It's going to be a normal time rift. The gallery. Oh, that was a quick load. Oh, my goodness. Timmy's going to be taking this one on. I should really turn off the uh, ha Cappy mod. I, I do love the Cappy mod and everything, but it's one of those mods where it's like, yeah, I wanted to showcase it, but it is way too powerful for the normal game. Like, if I wanted to, I could just j not do this whole rigmarole and jump straight up to the top. But I'd rather not. We're not going to cheat that quite as much as it would like us to. I already have this hat on. I'll take all the pawns I can get. Definitely need them. Oh, that's bad. Well, there's a first hit of the area. I almost said of the episode, but nope, we definitely got hit in that last one. All right. It didn't hit. It didn't land. Oh, I thought it was going to land. I went for it, and I really shouldn't have. All right, let's take the the safe bet. Well, that landed. Oh, I'm going to die. Oh, I'm definitely going to die. You can see these get pretty difficult. And when you think about it, you really don't get too much room for for error. Oh, this is fun. Definitely based on the uh, the witch's hat here. Just in case you haven't been practicing with it, just know that you will need it if you want to 100% the game. Well, even then, I guess you could just get time pieces in other areas. Let's not take hits here. Goodness. Is it me, or does playing as Timmy remove your X commands? Like, normally it'd be like, hey, press X to blo knock the block off these enemies, but it didn't. I don't know if that's just my imagination. 15. Holy moly. I think we're a third of the way there. We're more than a third of the way there. Yeah, when you think about it, it's like, ooh, I don't upload this much, but we're getting through it just fine. We're re-rolling that. That's a lame color. Lame color. Lame color. Actually, that one's not too bad. It is two star. Sure, we'll equip it. Not that we're going to see it because we are Timmy. This is another one of those ones that I'm just going to turn off after we end it just because I want to show off some of the new dyes we get. I, re I really need to unsubscribe to some of the some of the mods we already have going on. Yeah, and I think that pretty much for now does it. We still don't have enough pawns for that secret area. Yeah, it's 150, which kind of sucks because we're definitely going to have to build those up. We can really go here now? Huh. That's right, it's only 14. Yeah, we can go all the way to the fourth chapter now without even have d having touched the third chapter. Regardless, I do want to get into here, because it is our own darn bedroom, and there's something I really want to show off. All right, so now that we've done that, we've unlocked one of my favorite parts of this game, and it's not the stage itself, as much as you may think so. If you use your ice hat ability right here, we have a journal. Day 10, the moon set sure is getting busy. There's so many penguins showing up, and some are bringing balloons. And there are these floats that are super big. Everything looks so pretty. DJ Groove said they're all here for me too. I can't let everybody down. I don't know what they're going to do next, but I know I have to try my best for all my fans. 
So if you come into here, you get a little bit of a journal entry of the last mission you did. And it's such a good insight to the character of Hat Girl because normally, you know, it's kind of a silent, silent protagonist situation. So normally you would have no idea what she's thinking. And I, I really love the journal for that reason. Although it's really a shame that I didn't know about the journal until after I beat the game my first time through. So that was fun. All right, with that, we get a little sneak peek in our next area. This is Chapter 3, Subcon. Many people would label this as their favorite chapter in the game. For now, you know, no one knows what Chapter 5 could have. Yeah, okay. So, oh, and you have the extra pin for me? Oh, I have so many things to spend my pawns on and nowhere to get pawns. I should really, like, start going after these, shouldn't I? Anyway, yeah, so now, from now on, after every single mission we do, and I should have unlocked this area sooner so I could do it, after every single mission we do, we are going to be going back to the the journal down there so we can see what's up with the game. Anyway, what's up? Oh, he's running away. Well, we have to follow him, of course. We can't let him get away. A little bit of a clock here. I love these, this uh, fire effect. That's really beautiful. Some of the colors are really cool. That one, not so cool, but that one, I'm all around that purple. Oh, we've been caught. We've been bamboozled. Is this a goof? We gotta get out. We gotta get out. We can mash the button to swing as fast as possible. We can center the camera, but no matter how much we center the camera, don't think there's much we can do. This doesn't seem to be anything around us. Well, I don't see anything wrong with that. Let's see, clean out the subcon well. Well, that sounds super easy. And we get access to parts of the forest? Only in exchange for our soul? Well, that sounds like a great deal. I don't know about you, but I am 100% sold. feel exceedingly empty inside. Whoops! Guess this soul belongs to me now! Don't worry though, if you finish your tools quickly, you'll have your soul back real soon. And don't you dare forget our little contract. I put it in your start menus and I will never leave your sight. Well, there goes our soul. Ooh, here's a funny tidbit. You'll notice that Timmy has purple. This is going completely off track of what just happened. Timmy has purple eyes, and uh, he was always planned to have purple eyes. However, you look if you look at some of the early access like screenshots of the game, he'll have blue eyes, and that's because they didn't quite have his purple eyes finished by the time that they started making Timmy. But as interesting as all that is, we just lost our soul. In exchange for, I guess, our life. I, I don't know if he was going to like try to straight up kill us or something. Here's a new mechanic. We have some cherries. These little floaty weenie dudes. I'm not sure if these count. They sure do. They turn it into an explosive, so. Those will explode. And in addition to that, we have a, another, a new monster here. There's not really much you can do with it, except it has its gaze set on something. And if you destroy that certain something, you destroy the monster itself. And that'll get us a new kind 
of yarn. The Dweller Mask yarn, and it looks like we already have enough yarn to stitch it. I'm hesitant, but I'll do it anyway. Let's go ahead and stitch that bad boy with our Monado. Anyway, that gives us the Dweller's Mask yarn, or just the Dweller's Mask, which allows us to go into another kind of realm. You'll know more of what that does soon. Oh yeah, they're talking about the enemy here. You can walk by these NPCs to get a bit of a... Some interesting dialogue choices, we'll say. Do I have... I do have my magnet on. Good. So we're going to explore this place. There's for sure going to be plenty of yarns. Got a bit of a cutscene here. Ah. Some foxes. Looking to have a good time. We found the subcon village. That's right. We have to murder the spirits. Because why not? Gotta be careful saying that word, because apparently YouTube can just straight up demonetize you if, for using the word murder, which I had found out from the mission Murder on the Owl Express. It's great. It's all a great time. Is this? I think that's an ice shard one. Uh, I believe we need this bad boy to make the ice explode. Well, I got it. So you know what? That works for me. We're going to be seeing that ice all around this area, so... Be prepared, be prepared to use that apple everywhere. There's also a yarn up there that I... Actually, that's not a yarn, that's a relic, and I don't think we can quite get to it yet. We can try. Actually, we can. Easy. A new relic. It's as simple as that. Uh, we weren't supposed to use the method of just jumping to it, despite the fact that we didn't use any mods to get that. Oh. What's up? You working on any contractual obligations lately? You better be. Remember our little deal? Check it out! Those incredibly annoying fire spirits are sitting right there, in the middle of my village. Their little dance is creating these incredibly annoying barriers that stop me from getting to parts of my forest. It's almost like they're trying to put an end to me. How adorable. Dispose of them! I don't care how you do it, as long as they suffer for entering my domain. <laughs> Anyways, back to work, trooper! This isn't a vacation, and I'm getting impatient! That's not very friendly. Alright, well, you heard the bo you heard the boy. We gotta murder the spirits, however, if you think I'm going to ignore all the pawns sitting around, you'd be so very wrong. So, the way we go about murdering these are kind of interesting. I want to die! Yay! We want to burn bright, and then burn out. Become a cloud of smoke! Our bonfire needs more fuel! Only the finest paintings will do! Can you help us? They want to die! This is by far one of the creepiest things in the game, I'll tell you what. See ya. Sorry, but you're gonna get trapped in that painting. I don't know why the paintings have... More, huh? Yeah, you can see they have the lines. Similar to the... What were they called? Similar to the little safes from the first chapter, they have lines showing you where you need to go to get certain things. This one has a picture of our owl buddy. Don't know if he's trapped in there as well, but uh, either way, burn. Oh, this is so fun. Get more of those pawns. Uh, also, if we could find one of those stringy boys, I would love to use this cherry bomb on something like this. Yeah, also you mentioned, you heard the dude mention that uh, these forest dwellers are preventing him from getting to parts of his, of his forest. Well, that's what the fire is. It's not actually caused by him. It's caused by these weird forest dweller things. Can I make this? Uh, it doesn't look like it. And I even take, oh, there's a, there's one right there. I should have known that. There's one right here just to get to our yarn. Good. Actually, I think this is a relic again and they automatically explode. Another cow, good. 
I need these cows. Um, where's your last? Oh, you have two paintings left. Okay. Well, follow the purple. Uh, there's going to be three of these little situations, and you need to, of course, take care of them if you want to get to all of the secrets the forest has to offer. You don't actually have to take care of the other two. You need to take care of this one for story progression, but the other two, if you're just going for all of the all of the time pieces, aren't too important. Actually, you know what? I take that back because I think they are actually. Now that I think about it, sure. This one, it looks like it has our has our boy the the badge seller, which is interesting because uh, well, he definitely wasn't taken into one of these paintings, so I guess it doesn't require that someone be trapped inside. It's just, you know, a good old side effect. Oh, you'll be getting more. Don't worry about it. Calm. Calm your engines there, buddy. We have one more to go. And it seems to be a picture of, what is this? A cat person? Is it one of the foxes themselves in like an artistic style? We have not seen that. And I don't recall seeing that. And so we kill them. Nice. And that dispels the red fire across the entire forest. Uh, there's two other colors of fire. Oh, and we need to clean the subcon well. All right. Oh boy, an extra contract. So here's, so remember how I was saying uh, every chapter plays out differently in terms of progression? Well, this one plays out in you choosing what mission becomes available to you and you don't get too much information on the mission itself. So this one is one that I wanna delay doing as long as possible, not gonna lie. Uh, enter the manor and find out what's in the attic. And uh, that seems odd that he'd need us to go into someone else's house. And then we have deliver 10 packages to their minions. Even though this is act five, I am 100% okay with taking it on first. So I see no problem. I mean, he already has our soul, so there's no downside for us. Oh, he gives it to us before we clean out the well. I did not remember that, not gonna lie. Well, I before we even do that, though, I know it's standing right in front of us, but I do want to, like, get a couple more of the collectibles here. Here's the thing. There's so many collectibles in this chapter. So many that I feel like there's more in this chapter than all the others combined. Maybe excluding chapter four. Maybe. But... There's just so much here. It's uh, If I really wanted to explore this chapter in its entirety, it would take a very long time. We'd probably have an entire episode dedicated to me just finding yarn balls. Because, I mean, look, there's one over here as well. Don't know if there's an easy way to do this here. There's an apple in the inside. The music changes when we hold an apple. Can I get him to, like, get this boy? Can we jump on this mushroom? Oh, yeah. In fact, the boy, and jump back in. Hopefully that hits it. Yeah, that's good enough. Another piece of yarn. And we're gonna need more yarn because we're going to be getting another hat really soon. 
like sooner than you'd think. I want the witch hat. And we need to start getting rid of some of our extra hats, to be honest. I thought that's how you got rid of this. Guess not. Anyway, with that, I think that's pretty much most of what we can do here in the village. In terms of extra stuff, everything else would be out and around. Which, trust me, we'll get plenty of chances to explore all that. Yeah, I think we pretty much completed the village itself, so... Unless there's something inside of here, other than a few pawns, which there isn't. That should do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and collect the timepiece. Uh, how many pawns does this give us? 165, still not enough that I'd want, but we'll take it and leave. So, boom, our first timepiece in chapter three, as Timmy. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little removing from the experience if you're not playing as Hat Kid, I'm not gonna lie. Also, just a, just a quick mention, from the rest of this game, pretty much, we're playing without a soul. Until, until we get it back, Officially, Hat Kid has no soul, and there's a couple of dialogue options that actually prompt the fact that you have no soul, and it's just a cute attention to detail, which is really nice. So I'm going to put the ice hat back on because, of course, completed a new mission. Day 11. Uh, what is this place? There's spiders and ghosts and a big creepy, creepy grinning person thing? They said they were going to kill me, but then ma they made me sign some paper instead, and I think he told my, took my soul or something. Say what? Yeah, she doesn't seem too worried. Apparently taking your soul doesn't really do much. The millennial dream. Anyway, going to end it off there in the next episode. We're actually, I have something special to show off. We're going to be showing off another mod level, but of course, uh... Oosh, can I do that yet? Even though I don't have the, the next hat we'll be collecting. I think it should be fine. So I'll see you all then, and goodbye. <laughs>